here are the Celestron Skymaster 20 by 80 binoculars attached to a tripod. And the tripod that I'm using is the K and F concept tripod. And I've adjusted this to suit my own height. Bear in mind that you can adjust the height of this via uh, this lever here. So you can just unscrew this and then obviously you'd adjust uh, accordingly. I'm gonna make it nice and tight and bear in mind, I've made sure all the legs are in place as well. So here are the binoculars on the uh, mount at the top. Now I'm just gonna show you how I actually went about setting this up and getting the binoculars attached because I must admit, I was struggling to find anything online and it's just a bit of trial and error uh, in how I got here. So all you need to do, I thought I needed a tripod um, adapter um, I don't for this particular uh, tripod and for these binoculars and that's because of this kind of central uh, bar here that comes included and as you can see is firmly attached to the 20 by 80 Celestron binoculars. So essentially what I had to do here, and I'm assuming this is the same for most uh, tripods, is let me just unscrew this and be careful at the same time. Uh, by the way, before I do that, actually, let me just show you how this kind of works. So in terms of the top uh, mount here, there's various levers that we can leverage to move the positioning of the binoculars. So this one is the the, the uh, bearing mount unit here. So now I've unscrewed that. Hopefully you can see these binoculars are now point and shoot, if you like. This one, um, there's one here as well, uh, which I can kind of fix. And that just basically depend, you know, you know enables you to move this around. Um, but basically what we'd want to do is make sure that's nice and aligned and then fix that in position if you wanted to kind of view straight. So that's uh, now on there. I might need to tighten this one as well. Um, okay, so how I essentially got here is I manipulated this, uh, and I could, sorry, you can attach it more there. I unscrewed this and unscrewed this. I think it's, is it anti-clockwise? Yes. So hopefully, just need to keep screwing that on, uh, off I should say. I'll hopefully get there in a moment. Yeah, there you go. It's unscrew, 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 unscrew. We're we getting there. What you can actually do, actually I think it would be easier, if I unscrew this, that's almost like a, a vice. I can slide that off. There we go, that's much easier. And then, hopefully you can see this, you just basically unscrew this. So you unscrew this here. Oh, I dropped it. But this is what comes with the tripod, essentially. And that just slots in, in there. And that screws on like a clamp. So that was what the tripod looked like as it arrived. Hope you can see that now. Imagine I've put that on top. I've screwed that round. It's best to take it off as you can see in the how I took that off. And then I manipulated the various different uh, levers to get it in position, locked, and to take the weight uh, of these larger binoculars, which is why a tripod comes recommended.